Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jungle Naps, aka Jen Scene. So I haven't done a natural hair video in quite some time, but I figure now that winter is here and I've changed up my wash day routine quite a bit, I would just let you guys in, show you my process. So I copped these two new products here. This right here is the almond and avocado moisturizing and detangling shampoo this is from design essentials and it's sulfate free so yay for that and this here is also from design essentials is the honey curl forming custard with honey and chamomile so amazing for the hair lots of really great ingredients so these two products are usually you know a little bit pricey more than like a brand like she moisture um but i got these on sale and i was like you know what what the heck let me just incorporate them into my natural hair routine and see you know how I like them so I'm going to jump to the routine and show you guys what my whole process is and then we're going to talk about you know how I feel about the products while I'm demoing them for you guys so if you're new here please subscribe and if you're an oldie but a goodie hey it's nice to see you again so okay I'll stop rambling let's get to it so I'm gonna start off with my hair in sections I always wash my hair in sections and this hair has already been detangled but I like to just run it under the water kind of you know um, loosen up any buildup on my scalp and also just run my fingers through the hair to see if I missed any tangles um, and just you know get it real soaking wet so I used the shampoo here. I figured out that I kind of used too much. Um, a little bit of the shampoo goes a long way. It really foams up very well, which is a good thing because if you have very thick hair, it spreads so easily. So taking that into account, I used a lot less on my other sections. But I like to use this, um, it's like a vibrating massaging like scalp thing. I forget what the name is. But it loosens up the product buildup on my scalp. It's so amazing because I feel like it does such a better job than my fingers do. And I can really get in there and make sure that my scalp is super clean for my next, you know, full week. And so I'm rinsing this out. This shampoo did rinse out easily. Um, I will say just be careful around your edges. Really make sure that, you know, you kind of gently scrub it away because, you know, you don't want any leftover shampoo, especially like in your hairline. That's no bueno. <laughs> so take the time, make sure that it's um, rinsed out well. And I would say that it did leave my scalp feeling nice and clean. I was very surprised. My hair was very moisturized. Um, I don't know if it really cuts down so much on detangling time. Maybe if you have really short hair, but my hair is longer. So, you know, I had to detangle prior. Now I'm gonna deep condition with this mask from Shea Moisture, and I really, really, really coat my hair in deep conditioner. Like, I don't play games. <laughs> so I make sure that the ends are coated, and then I go in um, around the, kind of like where the root is on my hair. I don't rub it into my scalp, but I just make sure that it's thoroughly, thoroughly coated. And then I twist up that section and I put it into a little bantu knot and I secure it. And then I um, really just go ahead and I deep condition for about 30 minutes under a hooded dryer. And then I come out and I take off, you know, my little cap. And now you can see here's about half the uh, half of my head <laughs> of hair. I have a lot of hair. It's super thick. And I'm rinsing out the conditioner. That rinses out pretty well. Um, and, you know, usually I add oil to this. If my hair is feeling super dry, I'll deep condition with oil on top of the conditioner. But not today. My hair was pretty moisturized, so I didn't feel like it was necessary. And so I'm taking some black tea. Um, I This is cold black tea. It's not hot, by the way. And I rub this into my scalp. And also, I run it over the full length of my strands. And I really massage it into my scalp. 
What it does is it actually um, decreases shedding and uh, stimulates your hair to actually grow with caffeine. So it's a natural way to do that. And then I rub aloe vera gel. You can also use cold aloe vera juice on your hair. It's really amazing. It has a lot of healing properties and it also decreases frizz. So yay for that. <laughs> So I just twist my hair up, and here um, my hair is a little bit drier. I'm applying some leave-in conditioner. This is from Uncle Funky's daughter. And I just spritz that all over my hair. And this smells absolutely divine. All the products from uh, that company just smell amazing. And I smooth it along my hair shaft with my hands. That's super important because I want all of my hair to be coated. And now I put in a, it's like a moisturizer, a light moisturizer called Good Hair. And I use about one pump. And I really use like the praying hands motion and I just, you know, smooth it out as much as I can to make sure that it, my hair is evenly coated. And now I'm just taking off uh, the top section and I'm twisting it out of the way because as I'm adding my twist, I just don't want any stray hair to, you know, get in there. And it's kind of annoying. So <laughs> now I'm using the curl forming custard from Design Essentials. So I ended up really loving this stuff, you guys. Usually I don't like gel on my thick 4C hair. I just find that a lot of gel or any gel doesn't really work well with my hair no matter what I do, no matter what process. This gel was thick enough to where it actually was moisturizing. I think it's because it has that honey in there and it also kept my hair from frizzing up. So I was really surprised. I'm definitely going to keep incorporating this in my routine. And look, <laughs> see, I got a lot of shrinkage, but uh, that's what your girl is working with. A lot of good length. So that's my whole wash day routine process. It's quite lengthy, but it keeps my hair super healthy. Right now I'm in the middle of doing a protective you know, style challenge thing for, you know, maybe about six months. So my hair is super moisturized and I keep them in twists right underneath um, the wigs that I'm wearing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this routine. If you have any questions, be sure to list them down below. Any requests, list them down below. And if you're new to my channel, I have tons of playlists on natural hair tips and hairstyles. So, all right, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.